She was very angry because I bested her with a question that was a very fair, unfair question. So she was very angry. And when I was speaking about it on a CNN show, by the way, uh, which was interesting, but I was speaking about her, I said blood was pouring from her eyes or out of her eyes, which is a very common statement. And by the way, I said the same thing about Chris Wallace. That's right. Nobody said anything. You did. But I said the exact same thing about Chris Wallace. But then you said Nobody she had blood, said you said, you said blood coming said, out of her wherever. I said no. I said and blood was pouring for wherever because I wanted to finish the sentence because I went on to something. I wanted to get off of the whole thing and get back onto the subject of jobs or whatever we were talking to about right after that. I did a lot of soul searching this weekend, took my time, left my family behind, went walkabout to be with my own thoughts, racked with guilt and trepidation about what the events of the last week had brought down upon America. Because, you see, as a veteran broadcast journalist, one who has dedicated my life to the pursuit of truth, justice, the American way, sugar-free kumquat nectar, seeking to expose the lies and half-truths embedded in news events that do nothing more than prey on the intelligence of the American people, that is my first and foremost task. We in the media have a duty to not only uncover the difficult stories, but to dig deep and ensure that nothing save the facts are there for you, our viewers, to have, to hold, in reality show sickness and erectile dysfunction drug health, making your lives better with the investigative reporting that you deserve. These are um, 18 chips for $150. And it says there's a great little Greek place in town that makes the most amazing job, gyros, uh, the uniquely cooked and flavored uh, meat covered in has a daki kagazuki sauce, zaki sauce, onions, lettuce, and feta cheese, and a fresh pita. Yeah. Zaziki? Zaziki? It might be Zaziki. I don't know. I've only had one in my life, and it was a lamb, and it was really good. Those don't, those don't smell good. These are kettles, so they're going to be. They're going to be very crunchy. crunchy. You're going to hear a lot of crunching. I'm not sure I like those or not. I don't mind it. I think the, that the more you ate, the more you would get used to that flavor. There must never be any doubt in getting answers to tough questions, making those we interview and those news items we cover come alive for the viewer. And we, the journalists, must never flinch when it comes to asking those questions. For if we do, we have failed. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Up until this week, it has long been a well-known fact that in order to become a savvy, well-respected, and tenacious member of broadcast journalism, every reporter must master a number of very intricate and difficult mannerisms in order to ensure that every time they seek to pull information out of a difficult interview subject, they will get that subject to spill their guts with the accuracy of sodium pentothal. When we enter this industry, we are chastised and warned to never, ever, for the sake of our fellow human beings and society in general, reveal what we consider our secret handshake, if you will. The one trick we all learn that without fail will make any mortal man or woman jelly in our interviewing hands. And that's when the lizard rolls out its weird defense. It fires its own version of pepper spray. Thin blood vessels around the eyes rupture under pressure and squirt blood out at the attacker. In addition to the ick factor, the blood contains canine repellent chemicals. Disgusted and weirded out, the coyote flees, leaving the lizard to wait for more ants. Until now, we've never been able to admit our secret. The blood squirt from the eye, the optic terror, it's real. Yes, we can indeed shoot blood from our eyes in order to get what we want. But we cannot ever, ever allow something we've been working on for decades to become reality. So let this be a warning to all who oppose us. We, the broadcast journalists, today, blood shooting from the eyes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Rock on, true believers. Thanks for joining us. Shh, don't tell anyone. Back tomorrow on the hard line.